what's the uh, this this season been like? I know I think you're a little banged up early, kind of getting to to full health and being able to have a day like you had today. Uh, yeah, um, it was kind of slow coming out. Uh, it's been it's been a process, you know, uh, working into going into playing my first game in Nice. Uh, I was really just feeling the ball, really wanting to get in the ball. Then as, the, uh, as it go, as each week, I was just progressing and may, uh, get my injury better. So yeah. Do you feel like this would be a game that you could break out? I know Coach mentioned with Noah having a, a big couple of games with uh, 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 Terry out. Like, do you feel like this was kind of a game mark for you? For sure, yes, sir. Uh, I, I was kind of looking at that like as even the past games. Like, I go into mindset like that with just you know just attacking the game and just trying to uh, go out there and give my uh, all every game. So yeah, I kind of looked at it like that. It went to you a lot on third downs early in the game. Just what was working for y'all in, the, in those passing schemes, and just how critical were those you know, third down conversions to move the chains? Yeah, so uh, it was uh, when we, most of the third downs we were calling, it was either uh, we was reading like man is on. So when I saw like the hole and Connor just hit me and most of them on third down, I mean, I just knew I had to go out there and execute it. So yeah. How, how critical were the third downs? Just oh, yeah. It was, it, was, it was pretty big, you know, at the moment with us trying to get down the field and score. So, What happened on that uh, that play where it looked like Connor bobbled the ball and then ran around a little bit and then hit you wide open in the middle? Uh, yeah, so um, I had a dig on that. Ashley and I had seen it. It was on, and uh, Jaden, he was cleaning it out for me. So as he rolled out, I seen. I know he had seen me. He said he was going to hit me on the dig. So I, I was just kind of open at the, and, and in the right spot for Connor to hit me. <clears throat> they started with you first play on that kind of jet sweep. Did that? You feel like just kind of being involved on the first play did that get you kind of in the rhythm and the focus of the game? Oh yeah. Um. So yeah, when they had told me before, they was like, "You we're gonna come out and get the ball." The first play, I'm like, "Okay, yeah." I, it gave me some momentum. They're like, "Oh yeah, it's time to go out there and play." <clears throat> you put up some big numbers before coming to Texas A and M. Have you had a desire to try to show some, whatever you've been, you've been able to do at your old school here? How much of a a yearn or anything was that for you? Yeah, so it, I'm just getting into it. it. It just started. I, I'm, it's it's going for sure. I feel uh, like I'm for sure going to keep progressing and getting better and helping the team out, contribute. I feel like Coach Elko has mentioned the wide receiver group has come a long way over the first half of the season. Just where have you seen that position group come and, and make strides in y'all's game? Oh, yeah, for sure. Uh, well, starting with kind of the first game, you know, it was kind of rough playing against Notre Dame. So I feel like I just seen – progression as we go every day. I mean, we already good in the run game, so we try to like spread it out. Okay, we run and then as we go, we try to like throw more. So we, we getting better with the passing game and uh, Connor get more comfortable throwing us the ball. <clears throat> How fun is it to be able to play your senior season in the SEC and in kind of places like this and then walk out with a win? Oh yeah, yeah. Oh, it's been great. Like I know from my old school, we was already winning, but like doing it at the biggest league, it's, it just kind of like even big and better for me. So I'm just like, yeah, I'm just enjoying it. And as we go deep and play and go to the playoffs and go deep, it, it only get better. <clears throat> Did you guys come into this game um, expect knowing that this would be a challenge? I mean, how did you guys come in? Yeah, um, like Elko say, every game on the road, SEC is, is always a challenge. It's always gonna be big, but. With like the team team we have and the teammates, we just like go as one game at a time and just worry about us and, and just go out there and execute and do play by play. Is Starkville closer to home than, than College Station is? Oh yeah, it is. So is there, I got, do you have family here today? Yeah, they're here. They they out there waiting. How far is the drive? Uh, it's about they say about two three hours maybe. No no more than four. I know for sure. But yeah, it's about three hours. They're out there waiting. Like yeah, I'm coming to the game. Like okay. <laughs> Have, have they been able to come to any games in College Station yet? Uh, they haven't came. I'm going to get them out there to a game. I know we have Senior Day, like New Mexico. Uh, they came to the Florida game, though. So, yeah. You played in, in your old school. You played at some big environments. But do you still catch yourself at, you know, in warm or anything, kind of looking around and uh, everything in? Well, my first, like, my very, I think my first game when I had, when I was walking out of the tunnel, I'm like, oh, yeah. This is crazy. Like, yeah, I'm at SEC. Look, as I go, I, I get used to it. Like, last year we played at Kansas State. I don't play the Ole Miss before. So I kind of, I'm just kind of used to it. I just tone it out and just play ball. So. We good with your brain? All right, thank you guys. Thanks. <clears throat>